Welcome. In this video, I'm going to demonstrate how to use a table of values to evaluate a limit. In this case, we're told this is our limit we are evaluating. That is f of x is equal to 1 over x minus 1 squared. Where is x equals 1? x equals 1 is right here. I should put that on top. It's right there. Here, if you look at this as a standard number line, this would be 0 over here, and here's 1. And the number 2 would be over here somewhere. So let's go ahead and fill out some of these values. I will help out with a couple of them. So let's start with f of 0 0.5, which is 1 half. That's equal to 1 over 1 half minus 1 squared. And that's equal to 4. All right, let me help with one more. f of 0 0.8. That's 1 over 0 0.8 minus 1 squared. And that works out to be 25. Please pull out a calculator and finish the last of these. So again, pause your video and fill in the remainder of the table. All right, so these are the values you should have filled in independently. And as you can see, as the x values get closer to 1, so if we're looking at this, here's 1, my x-axis and my y-axis. As we travel along in this direction, it looks like the y values keep getting bigger and bigger on both sides. What I'm seeing here is that as I get closer, I'm not going to hit the number 10,000. This one's going to be an even larger number, as is this one. And you can try that on your own. Try 1.001 1 .001 and 0 0.999. And you'll notice you get an even, uh, even larger values here. So what that tells me is the limit as x approaches 1 of 1 over x minus 1 squared is infinity. Hopefully you found this helpful.